Okay, guys, we are back. This is lesson six. So we are going to relate shapes and solids. Okay, so we're relating those flat shapes uh, like squares and circles and triangles and trapezoids to our solid 3D shapes. So we're relating 2D to 3D. So our directions here say trace one face of a cube. So I'm going to trace my cube. You don't have to do this. You can watch and you can just kind of copy because I think you guys can figure this out pretty quick. What shape is that? Everybody knows it's a square because a cube is made up of six equal faces. So six equal square sides. So it says to trace the other faces of cube. So how many faces are in a cube? How many was it? It was six. So I'm just going to do two because we all know that there's six of them. But that one is also a, it's also a square. So we know that the fa every face of this cube is made out of a square. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go ahead and do it. Okay, so let's read through this. It says the faces of three dimensional shapes are Two-dimensional shapes, just like I said, we've got our solid shape here, but every face on it is a flat shape. So because every space is a flat shape, it, um, these are our two-dimensional shapes. So they put them together and then they create it. So if this were um, a box, I could open it up and put things in it because I've stacked all of my shapes and I've stacked them together to make that work. Okay. So it says, helpful hint, a cube has six equal faces. The faces are squares. So let's look at this one. It says, circle the shapes that make the three-dimensional shape. Now, sometimes with this one, there might be one. Sometimes there might be two. Sometimes there could be every single face that's there. So let's look at this shape. This is our, what shape is that? It's a rectangular prism. Good. So up here, I can see what face. What shape is that? What two-dimensional shape is that? That's a square. So let's circle the square. Do we have a rectangle anywhere on here? Well, it's a rectangular prism, so I hope so. There's a rectangle there. Good. Are there any triangles anywhere on it? You're right, there are not. So I could even bring over my little one so we could double check it. There, square, square, rectangle, rectangle. Whoops, rectangle, 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 rectangle. Okay, so no just squares and rectangles, or sometimes it's all different. It's two different kinds of rectangles. Okay, let's look at our cylinder. Here's our cylinder. Do we have any rectangles anywhere on our cylinder? I don't know about you, I don't see any rectangles. Nope, no rectangles. Do we have any circles anywhere on our cylinder? Well, there's one, there's two. Circles are definitely there. What about squares? Do we have any squares on our cylinder? Nope. Okay, so just one on that one. See, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's more. Okay, what do we have here? That's our pyramid. Good. So here's our pyramid. We have a square and a triangle and a triangle and a triangle and a triangle. So, oh, there's a square. And one, two, three, four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four square faces or triangle faces. So, yep, all of those too. Okay, talk math. Explain how two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional shapes are related. So the cool thing about this is if we think about our, our shapes, if we have a square and four triangles that are the same size, we could put the square down, put the triangles out like this, and then fold them up, and it would create our three-dimensional shapes. So the two-dimensional shapes make the faces of our three-dimensional shapes. Sorry, you guys don't have these to help you work through them. Okay, let's look at the next one. It says, circle the shapes that make the three-dimensional shape. So you're going to be doing the exact same thing on this page that you were just doing on this page. Okay, so looking at that and that. Circle the shape made by the faces. Okay, so I've got, we're going to look at this one. I've got squares, rectangle, 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 rectangle. So which one of those shapes would be made by squares and rectangles? This one is made by one, two, three, four, five, six squares. Which one of these is made with only squares? Which of these shapes does not have a square as one of its faces? So take a look at that. There's only one shape there that does not have any squares on it anywhere. Okay, so just go ahead and work through that page. 
Then you're going to go in the back. You're going to do the problems. You can describe, you can do the right math. That's super easy. Tell me about the faces on a pyramid. Okay. How many of this? How many of that? How many all together? What shapes are they made of? Okay. That was a nice, quick, easy lesson. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.